Denny knows that um, when he was able to help with the Fort Lee uh, planning and all, how effective that was because everybody was able to come in a room like this and say, okay, what's our strategy going to be and how it was, and that was incredible. I think that kind of makes a And I will try to get, one of the reasons we did what we did when we did it was to uh, try to give a lot of cover to some of the other elected officials who might then want to stand up and, and do it. And we felt like if we were taking the brunt of that, that it would give them the ability to do that. Uh, I have not talked about this to Teacher Jack or anybody else, but I will be glad to try to no, no, I, but that was a specific yeah, but request. What I'm suggesting is that we have a Republican administration here. Well, some good usually comes out of that. One thing I see is that it's really good to go because there can be other issues. Absolutely. You know, that we can work together on. I think that's just wonderful. So that's the good that I see. Uh, just to add to what's going on, Caroline's supposed to bring it up at their next meeting. I know Gucci is going to bring it up, even though they're on 64, because they recognize their meeting. But just as important, when we talk about Fairfax, more interested in the revenue than anything else, one of the things that I never hear and I think needs to be stressed more and more is that today we get $50 million from the difference. The first day that the toll plaza goes in, it goes somewhere. Now, VDOT has said they think it's going to the other interstate. Well, based on the money that we collect on 95, there will be more money going to the other interstates than we actually collect. If I were in Fairfax, I'd say, this makes no sense. So, you know, what I'm saying is if, if we can somehow get the message out that the math doesn't work, and you're not going to get any benefit from it either. The other interstate systems are going to make more money off of them than we do. And they haven't really said for sure that's where it's going. We may lose it totally. I don't know. But if 50 million isn't enough today, how can 35 to 40 be enough six years from now? Yeah, that's an excellent point. Okay. And I think the more questions that you can raise like that without trying to get the answers, that's right. because you want to be careful in this that they don't shift and make an argument that they want to put this in someplace like that because then we lose a whole coalition of people that start to become passionate to fight it. So I think just raising the question buys time to help the best for the Yeah, I, I don't want to hurt you all the Rick doesn't even know all the Baptist churches. In fact, sometimes I hear him tell one, I said, they said that about lawyers, not about the Baptists. You know, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. It's, what he doesn't know is that I speak in more Baptist churches and I do nothing that's true. But I mean, he doesn't tell Baptist jokes in those churches. There, there's an old story about uh, two guys that are, that are out hunting and, and a bear approaches. And one of them stops and, and ties his shoelaces right. up and his buddy says, hey, why, why are you doing that? You're not going to be able to outrun the bear. And he says, I don't have to outrun the bear, I just have to outrun you. That's right. <laughs> and I think the reason the delay on this is so essential is, I think if we can get beyond McDonald's time as governor, which uh, in a longest case scenario uh, will be January of 2014, you know, maybe Romney taps into a position in his administration should he win, and he's, he's going even sooner than that. But, there's only 14% in the, any of the statewide surveys that I've seen that are in favor of the toll tax. That includes Northern Virginia in with, in with this. So I think we've got an opportunity, and it's part of what we need to do politically. I don't know if uh, Roslyn is close to, to Terry McClare. Oh, hey, Roslyn. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you close at all to Terry McCall? Could you Could you approach him and talk with him about his stand on this? I've talked with Bill Bowling. We need to identify someone who's close to Ken Cuccinelli and try to have this brought to his attention. You asked about Governor Allen's position. It's evolving, and we need more people to approach him. I mean, this is low on the radar right now of the stuff that, that he's dealing with, and I, I don't know how Governor Kane feels about it either, but I think if we can get past McDonald, and he's had setbacks on a number of issues with ABC privatization, uh, the ultrasound bill during the General Assembly, uh, a couple of other things. He's certainly 
not going to move you back down once again. It doesn't look like when you're reading the tea leaves of what's going on. So this may end up dying with a whimper and not a fang. But I don't think we have to beat the governor. I think we have to outlast him. So I think that's what we're Well, I, I think that. you're right. And I think if you lay an issue like this out, if you stretch it out in time, time can do a lot of, a lot of things. You know, and, and I think that's a smart move. And I think the key in, in this process, and you guys are good at this, it's just sometimes you always have an outlier that goes in another direction. But I don't think we want to brutalize anybody or make anybody our enemy, any section. I mean, I, when I talk about Northern Virginia here, I do it because we all understand that. But publicly, we don't want to be saying that because the Northern Virginia starts thinking, you know, that the old Virginia is fighting for this. You know, and the same thing is true about getting one official events, but we don't need to do that. But, but I think raising that issue and having them come on board with it is a really good approach. How do we know when they started? The reason I ask, how do we know when they have started? Because they, oh, you mean with the toll? Yeah, because they're already setting up uh, every couple hundred yards, they're doing I, measurements and they're drilling on the side of the road. We'll I don't have a multifaceted approach of moving. Our big focus, focus right now is improve of their application right. and where they are with that. And that's why what we're trying to do is, again, slow that thing. You know, because I don't know if we can stop it. Uh, we're trying to slow it down. And so uh, your point, I think, is great to look at the environmental impact. I mean, the great thing is stretch the environmental impact out, but also try to get a broader environmental study for that. I want to remind you, I talked to you about it there. We were trying to get the state to provide some information. We've been reluctant to provide the basic information. And I know my packers sent over to
just say it again from a PR point of view and where we are. Now, from a planning point of view, that makes some sense. But the only way you make that fly is to have won that argument with legislators before you ever go to print. Because if you get a divide and conquer on that, I don't think that argument wins. But that's just my political assessment. Roz, and you can tell me what you think your colleagues would do. But, but that's just my feel. I don't think you're going to find many state legislators wanting to make a flag up today that says I'm for gas tax. I mean, I just don't think that. Uh, well, that's the climate on Capitol Hill yeah. in Richmond. Right. There's not a lot of support for gas tax uh, or sales tax. Yeah. You know? And I can tell you, in, in Washington, across the country, nobody wants to touch that. I mean, it's just a point. If I can address what you talk about. See, what we're doing now is we are reacting to a number presented by VDOT. And let's face it, they're not the most efficient organization in the world. Uh, first thing we, I think we should do is ask them on the foyer, how did you come up with $12.5 million a year? Chances are good 50% of that is overhead and plug, you know, that, that may not even be uh, there. But my point is to what you said with gas taxes, the governor and somebody should go in for an efficiency study of VDOT. We could save 35 or 40 million easy. I mean, um, Wayne, if I could, uh, Ken, on semantics, uh -huh. to you. instead of asking the specific question on 10 different questions, uh -huh. no, no, here's what I would do. I would say, uh, what well, all we want to see is the analysis. Okay. Just call it the analysis. Uh -huh. You don't have to explain it. Because the average citizen understands you ought to have analysis make a decision. Right. And if you just say analysis, it encompasses everything else. So if I were looking, what I would be saying from all of us, instead of saying I need an answer to this or maybe I'd say we want to see the analysis at just the time. Right. And then that puts us all in the same message. People understand that and, and nobody can argue with that. Okay. So that's just my suggestion. Put me on. Get ready to me. Can we thank you for, for what you're doing? And someone uh, made a comment the other day of how refreshing it was to, to see a politician willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against their the leader of their own party within the, the, the state, stand up for the constituents they serve, and that that must have been a difficult decision for you. And I told him, no, I know him well enough to know that wasn't a difficult decision for him at all. But still... It's a rare thing. So we thank you for what you're doing and for your work. Well, I, th I thank all of you guys. Thank you. Yes.
totally different when you say we're going to put tolls on projects that are already there, and we don't know where the money can go. You go any, any other area. The second thing is it's unfair because it puts greater pressure on businesses and individuals here. Uh, but the third thing we need to recognize is that this is an area that, from an economic point of view, is probably more stressed than most areas in Virginia. But the final thing, as far as businesses are concerned, it's not just that this is a toll. This is a giant of a toll. I mean, so you're looking at something where it's going to impact businesses where people are traveling uh, to go to that business or not. And I think any business that knows about this good analysis is going to be very concerned about having this toll and the impact it's going to have on their customers. And we're hearing that from businesses. The final thing we've heard a lot from are, are the truckers who are very, very concerned about this because, you know, we forget sometimes that those trucks, it's not just their business, but they're carrying goods that are doing all the other businesses around the state. You start hitting them with extra cost, and that extra cost is going to be carried on to the customer's role. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. Uh, Bruce Campbell, the Reporting News. Hey, Bruce. I came in late, and I apologize for that. I got to my late. Um, a little concerned you're saying elongate this process instead of trying to stop it. Now, that's Bruce, I understand this. In elongating the process, I think we give time to stop it by getting more and more of the analysis and the research necessary so that you can get the intelligence and the decisions necessary to stop it. With any situation you have, if you make a faster decision, you're going to get less analysis, less facts drawn to that decision. I think as you elongate the decision, the decision process, you're going to get more of those facts in, more citizens that understand, uh, more of the businesses that understand, and you get more people weighing in. There's a follow-up. You're saying you elongate it after the federal government approves? Oh, I, I, I'm saying hopefully you elongate it before the federal government approves. My understanding is the applications are going in next month. They could go in faster than that. But once the application gets in, we can ask the federal government to do some things, like environmental studies and other things like that, that could slow down the process. You got a puzzled look, Bruce. What's your next question on that? Well, I think the average person just wants it to stop. Oh, Bruce, look. They don't want to hear about elongation. Well, you know what? If we're in a perfect world and we were all the judge and the jury here. You're in South Central Virginia. You're pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but Bruce, we could make that decision today. We could walk out of here and, you know, we wouldn't even have to get a picture in front of the truck. Uh, we could be done. But we're not. And, and so the problem is that uh, we don't, we may not have that capability of just stopping it unless we can stretch it out so that we can get more of these facts in and more people are part of this coalition so we can make sure we do it. And I think that's what most people are talking about. When we're talking what about other groups that are not already involved do you think are going to come on board? Wayne made a wonderful uh, comment when you have Hanover staff and you have all these other uh, jurisdictions that are looking at it as we're meeting, coming on with resolutions. Every time one of those jurisdictions come online with a resolution, it helps the elected officials who are representing that, those areas come on board and say, okay, we're going to support this coalition. And, and the larger that becomes, I'm sorry. It, it's going before several board of supervisors uh, next week. Uh, we also are beginning to cast uh, rescue squad and fire departments along 95 too, which will be an important aspect. But the coalition uh, started out grassroots and it's growing uh, faster than I uh, imagined. And when we start getting support from people like Dumfries uh, on the other side of uh, Richard, uh, that, that's what we're really looking for. And Caroline County, uh, for example, took it up at their last meeting and they took, uh, had no decision. But they've been contacted again with a few more facts and they're going to take it up again this week uh, and hopefully they will come on board. If you remember, Caroline County was the area where the other coal was supposed to go. So uh, the coalition uh, is going faster than I can imagine. And right now, I'm uh, about 17 right now. 
Everybody good at chest control. <laughs> <laughs>